This video contains 12 calls made by Alec Murdoch while he was housed at Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center. You will hear Alec become emotional in some of the calls and you will also hear him talk about the day he said he was shot on the side of the road. Take a listen. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Did you hear from Butch? Um, no, I, um, I texted him today and I've, and I've called him once and I haven't, I haven't heard from him. Okay. Good deal. Did Jim call you? Um, when? Today. No. Uh, they were asking me if somehow, you know, they have this, this is Bond here tomorrow. Right, I knew that. And they seem optimistic that something's going to happen. I believe it when I see it. But if it, something does happen tomorrow, then I think they want me staying in Columbia. And, and is it right for me to stay in your apartment? Um, yeah. But you have the key with you? I do. All right, well, I mean, if they're optimistic enough that something's going to happen, then they'll call you. If they don't call you, then don't worry about it. Well, Jim Jim told John that... Um, that even though the hearing's tomorrow, that, that there probably isn't going to be a ruling for until, like, next week. I, I know that. I know that's what they said, but I'm just telling you what Dick said. Dick said if I get out tomorrow, he wants me to stay in your apartment. Now, he might not be optimistic that that's going to happen. And if they haven't called you to worry about it, then they obviously that ain't going to happen. So don't worry about it. Just if you see a call from them, if you don't see a call from them, don't worry about it. Okay, well, I don't know because I mean I have Jim's number and and Dick called me the other day and when it, when he calls me it comes up as Harpoot Lynn. Ten four. Did Brooklyn get a letter? I don't think she's gotten it yet. She has. I don't think it was sent until yesterday. Let's see. I gave it to them on Tuesday. Sent on Wednesday. Yeah, but I don't. She should. But I don't think it. Um. Hopefully she'll get it before she leaves. But if not, she'll get it when she gets back. Yeah, well, I think she asked off of work for Friday, so... Um, she's coming up Thursday. No, she's coming up Friday morning, but, you know, if it, if it doesn't get there till Friday afternoon, then she's probably not going to get it until she sure. goes back. That's okay. She can get it when she gets it. So, you have a good day? Yeah, having a good day. I've been spending so much money, on it, and it hurts me. On what? People's Christmas presents. Uh, well. I mean, I gotta buy a present for everybody. Well. And it's a lot of people. I'll tell you this, bus. What? Hang on. <clears throat> we Hello? people something that was mom or Paul's. And I think people really like that. Well, I mean, I, I wasn't going to do, I wasn't going to do that. Sure. We'll see if I if I get out of here, which, like I say, I'm not optimistic, but um, we'll see. We'll see. They seem to be optimistic, but they were optimistic the first time too. All right. Anyway. Well, I, I mean, I've already I've already bought everybody something to. Well. We'll talk about finances when I get out of here, but I'm going to make sure you're okay. Well, I mean, I, I make money. I know. And if I don't if I don't go back in the spring, then I'll continue to make more effectively. I know. But we're talking about... Anyway, we'll, 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 we'll get all that square. Talk to you when we're not on this phone being recorded. Okay. Um... All right, everything else is good? Um, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. I just won four suits and a, um, and a, um, a tonk off. Oh, uh, yeah, I play. I know how to play tonk. tonk. Yeah, we, there's four of us we put in a canteen item and play first one to win five games. And so, anyway, big stuff going on. I got to... See about the NFL board. I gotcha. All right, so Brooklyn's coming up tomorrow morning. No. Oh yeah, yeah. Today's Thursday. Where are you staying? 
When? In Charlotte. Um, uh, at a hotel. Have you seen Bobby or any of those boys that live there? Um, no, I mean, not, not recently. You haven't seen them while you're staying in Charlotte? They, they don't live in Charlotte. I thought some of your friends did. No, nah, not anymore. Oh, they don't? Mm-mm. All right, well, you at work now? Yeah. All right. Well, if we're out tonight, I may try to call you tonight. If not, I'll call you tomorrow or um, what have you, okay? All right. I love you, buddy. All right, love you too. Bye. Bye. Hey. Hey. Am I catching a bad time? No, I'm just waiting on a guest to get wrapped, um, and then I'm going to be walking to my car. Where are you shopping? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm at um, Bay Street Outsiders on Bay Street, and Ooh. there were a pair of shoes that my dad wanted that were actually for his birthday like a month ago, and I forgot <laughs> I forgot to get them to him. Yeah, I meant to pick them up before Thanksgiving. I just forgot. Good deal. Um, what are you doing? I uh, just finished playing a little poker. I didn't. I told you my canteen got screwed up this week, right? Yeah, you did. So I didn't play anything. So I've been having to play chess and cards and tonk and poker for canteen items. I'm about to stock back up. I had a good little run. Oh, good. And, um, you know, it is nothing little. I mean, we play, you know, bags of chips and whatever, just little canteen stuff. And well, um, still enough to get me through the week. Well, good. Y'all doing it? Hey, did um, you get your letter? No, I haven't gotten it yet. I have to check every day. Huh. But maybe, maybe when we get home today, um, we'll get it. Did you um already know how to play chess? Oh yeah. You didn't play it in a long time, but um, I, I actually started playing again in rehab in Florida. Oh, you did? Oh, I talked to I talked to them today. Thank you. Um, Michelle? Yeah. Is that, or, or Melissa? I Michelle? can't remember one of them. The director? Was, she said that she remembered you and that she was one of your counselors. It's Melissa. definitely an M name. Melissa. And she, um, I was just calling because, you know, I didn't know if that was still. And they got my clothes. Well, no. Mills has your clothes. She was in Orlando over Thanksgiving and picked everything up. So all that's back, I guess, in Somerville. Cool. So Lynn will know the answer to that. And so, anyways, I, I was just calling to see if. Tell them, Lynn, everything is clean. Don't be bothering nothing. I washed it before I packed it. Oh, you did? Yeah. What did, did they have a they had a laundry room for you? Yeah, washing machine and dryer. Like with quarters, or you could just use no, it? No, you just use it. You had to buy detergent, but it was like a buck, a buck a load. Well, listen to this. They have this new app. It's called Hamper, mm-hmm. and so I'm looking into getting it for Buster for Columbia. But it's basically like Uber for your clothes. So you put all your dirty clothes in a hamper, and a driver will come by from the hamper out and pick up your clothes, wash them at their house, and come back and fold them, like delivered the next day. Well, my friend says it's only like $5 a load, and um, she swears by it. She's got, you know, this busy career, and a child that's turned off stage, and um, she says she just doesn't have time for laundry. <laughs> that's how she gets her laundry done, and, and she was telling me that um, she goes, even my thongs are folded to perfection. Uh, and what? so I was her thongs. Oh, really? Like her, her thong underwear. So they fold <laughs> to perfection. Yeah. So I told John Marvin that last night, <laughs> and this friend um, does not have the most perfect body. Oh, my mom said, what the hell is she doing in the bone? 
She goes, uh-huh. I don't want to hear anything else about the service. Right. I cannot think about her. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, anyway, I thought... Well, um, he's going to go to Arkansas. Yeah, he's leaving tomorrow with my dad. I hope they have a great time. He's done so much for me. Well... Right. I'm sure well, that you, they will. Uh, uh, you were right about that thing. There is a virtual thing tomorrow that, um, anyway, Dick and Jim seem very optimistic about it. Like I say, they, I believe it when I see it. They were optimistic the first time and the second time. So, well, um, but, but even, I, know they've been, I know they've been working hard on it, and I appreciate it. I mean, you know. Well, if they if they do if it does happen tomorrow, just know I can come and get you. I you can come back here. He said if something happened tomorrow, he wanted me to stay in Columbia. So uh, I'll, 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 I'll I'll let you know the things at nine o'clock in the morning, and then you know I mean it ain't like. Well, do you know why is it virtual? I I don't know. But is the lady in Columbia yes. the judge? But I mean that's you know I mean to tell you the truth rather than them dragging me out and ankle chains and you know they put yeah. on a big show like I'm gonna attack somebody. I guess right. that's standard protocol. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's what it is. But rather than having to go deal with all that, it suits me for it to be virtual. Yeah, no doubt. And then he's have a little bit of privacy, maybe. But um, I'm sure I just was wondering if that was something. Sure news outlet will be. They won't be able to record it, but I'm sure they'll be on there listening and whatever said they're going to print. So. Anyway, all right, I just wanted to call you. I'll, I'll buzz you later, and um, I'll, I'll call you all tomorrow and let you know. Okay, well, um... Tell everybody, hey, yeah, I love you. Let me know if there's something I can do tomorrow Thank you. to help. I'll call okay, you. Okay, love you too. Bye. Okay. Bye. Hey, bud. Hello. Hey. Hey, man. Am I catching you a bad time? How are you? No, no. I don't have the two seconds, John. Can you? Will you see if you can get Jim on the line? I tried to call him, and I can't get him. And I'm yeah. not gonna be able to call him tonight. Give me a second. Let me get him. Oh. No. Hey. No. No answer. Um, what you need? Nothing. I, I need to. They, they want me to say something tomorrow, and he wanted me to go over it with him, so I got it done. Well, they come out about the. You know, they're not having the bond hearing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, they are. No, no, I got postponed. He called me just a little while ago. Oh, he did because of the new charges. Yeah. Okay. No, I didn't know that. Okay. So. Well. Yeah, he called me, and I guess he couldn't recall you, but. But, um, so, yes, he told me they will postpone it until Monday or early next week. So they could get all the new ones, too? I guess. 10-4. All right. Well, that's what I needed to know. All right. Hey. Okay. How about sending yeah. him a text, then, that, um, not, I mean, that, that's what I was trying to call him about to read this stuff, but since it's not going to be tomorrow. Are you sure he's coming at the bond here, John, because the receiverships continue, yeah. too? Both of, both of them got, got postponed. Okay, just all right, all right. Because I just they they served me with seven new warrants like at five thirty, and I called Jim. I think they did that, you know, probably trying to <laughs> last minute keep it from being able to get on there tomorrow. Right. But anyway. Hey, but is there any thought about going in on it and? and Anything that you could think of, go ahead and talk to them out ahead of time before they keep digging stuff up. Nobody's asked. Would that not be beneficial? To do that. Okay. But anyway, I'll talk to Dick and Jim about it. Okay. I, mean, I told him I'd go through paperwork and tell him exactly, exactly which okay. ones. Okay. I, I understand. 
were problematic. I offered to do that before I went to rehab or while I was in rehab. Or even and they before said not I went, I think. I don't know. My mind wasn't too sharp then, but I'm pretty sure I offered to do it. Okay. Well, he called less than an hour ago and said that um, said that it had been postponed. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's probably um. Okay. Good deal. All right. I'll be in touch. Okay. I'll call. I'm not gonna be able to call tonight, but I'll call. Good luck hunting. Okay. I probably won't bother you tomorrow. I'll probably call you Sunday me? night and um have a good trip. Take some pictures for me. We'll do. Call me anytime. All, All right. right. Love you. Bye. Love you. Hey. Hey, am I calling you too late? No, I'm just sitting here. Huh? John, can I just catch up on the phone? What are you doing? John's gone. So I knew you had the kids up and you were worn out. Well, they got to bed and um, everybody's doing with all the Christmas shopping. Did you get my letter? No, it's still not in calm. You need to call him and find out what's going on. I gave it to him last Friday. Well, he um, I talked to him last night, and he said that they mailed mine in Brooklyn this week. So you know, Brooklyn's to yours, to you. No, no, no. he he mailed it to to, to Brooklyn, but he you know just okay. He, well, I didn't uh, to him. Brooklyn's until Tuesday. Yeah, and I texted him. I tried to call him that next day, and um, that next morning, and he did it. So I just texted him, I guess, and he said he got it out to her that day on Wednesday. But I guess he said he mailed them out on Tuesday. So he mailed them to y'all on Tuesday or Wednesday? Well, mine on Tuesday and hers on Wednesday. Well, shit, you should have it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I guess I'm just running slow. All right, well, I'm just checking. You doing okay? You know they continue that yeah. hearing thing. I'm going to do it? Yeah. I had it. I thought it was postponed. Yeah, it was continued postponed. Oh, I thought you meant they continued on with it. No, no, no. Continue means put it off. Gotcha. So I think it was um, Monday, but I'm not sure. Well, um, do, you, do you feel any better about it? Do you think? I, you know, I, don't, I mean, I don't feel bad about it. I just, you know, you know, I mean, if, I don't know. We'll talk about it when I get out. If I get out. Well, it it just seems like um, there's a different guy, so that might be good. They seem really optimistic, so, you know. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, y'all should have seen me seeing what this move this new dude in here in our pod. This guy Courtney that I really mm-hmm. like. I mean, he was a true convict, but he was older and he was more mellow yeah. now. When I say convict, he wasn't like a convict. He was like always in trouble with guns. He was in all these shootouts and he didn't do drugs or do anything like that. He didn't rob people. He just he had these gun charges, but anyway, I liked it. He was laid back. He was very, very jail smart. He's been in prison a fair amount. He, he I mean, I know it sounds strange that I liked him, but he was really a laid back guy, and we just kind of hit it off, played desk, and liked football. Anyway, he left. He, like, yeah. he, he went where he's going, but he taught me a lot about being in here. Really helped me with about being in here, you know, you do certain things, get by certain things, but anyway, they brought a new dude in, and I mean, he's crazy mm-hmm. and shit, and he take off all his clothes and he stay there, and I mean, he, I mean, he doo-dooed his hands and rubbed it all over the window in his cell and all over the walls and took his clothes, mm-hmm. took all his clothes off and stuffed them in the toilet, got flushed in the toilet, so the pot flooded, and... Oh, gosh. And then we finally, we finally turned the water off, and then he knocked the sprinkler head off. And, I mean, the whole damn thing flooded. I mean, it was like four, four hours of getting water up. And, I mean, they come back. Did y'all have to get it up? Uh, nah, I mean, they got people to do it. I just help just mm-hmm. give you something to do. You either sat in the room or, you know, I, I said, should I help? 
But um, anyway, you know, it, the water that flooded was not sewage water. So I mean, it wasn't that big a deal. It was just mopping and squeegeeing. But um, they come and get it, and and they came back up to the flat, you know, doors, these doors are these little flats they can push food through and stuff. Mm-hmm. They came back up handcuffing, and I mean, they haul him out of here buck ass naked. It's a damn funny thing. Is he white or black? Huh? Is he white or black? Is he white black. or black? But I feel sorry for him in a sense because when he came in here on Tuesday, one of the guards comes up to him, one of the lieutenants, who's one of the higher ranking people. Comes in and says, whatever his name is, says, look, man, you know your mama used to be a guard out here. She used to work for me. I've talked to her on the phone. She said, tell you, calm down and take your meds. That was on Tuesday. They mm-hmm. never brought him any meds. He's obviously mentally ill. And, I mean, he just fell out. You know, there's a lot of that that goes on in here. I feel sorry for a lot of these people. But, anyway, all right. I, I, I got a lot more I'll tell you when I... See you in person. All right, I love you. We'll say that. Good night. Enjoy <laughs> your your fruit weekend with the kids, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for calling. Bye. Love you. Hey, bud. <clears throat> hey. What are you doing? Um, I'm here in Rock Hill watching the South Carolina uh, basketball game. Who is who we playing? Florida State. Who? Florida State. Florida State? Yeah. Huh. I got you. Well, did y'all have a good time in Rock Hill? Yeah, we did. Did Brooklyn get my letter? Um, No, I don't think she's gotten it yet. Ten four. Well, she can get it when she goes back. Is she going back today? Yes. Ten four. That'll be on the lookout. Oh, well. Is she doing okay? Yeah, she's good. Is she with you now? Uh, she just went upstairs. She's she's hungover and she's going to take a nap. She's what? Hungover. Y'all had a big night last night. Um, no, nah, I was pretty I was pretty tamed, but she she got after it. She doesn't feel very good. Well, I'm glad she did. She deserved that. Did she have fun? Yeah, yeah, she had a good time. Brooklyn cracks me up. She's like, Mom, you can always just take one look at her and know when she's just got the biggest buzz, you know. That's right. I mean, it doesn't take anything to know when she's got a buzz. Right. You remember how mom used to smile? I do. Hey there. So what else is going on? What? What else is going on? Um, really nothing. Um... We're not doing a whole lot. I'm going back to stay in Columbia tonight. You are? Yeah. Jim and then seem very optimistic that, uh, yeah, because I'm not keeping my hopes up, but hang around until you find out what happened. I might need a ride. Couldn't for. So we'll see. You going to stay in Columbia tonight? Yeah. Can you talk to John since he went to Stuttgart? Um, he texted me some pictures, but no, I haven't spoken to him. When was the last time you talked to him? Probably Thursday night. Did he happen to tell you anything Jim told him? No. He didn't? Uh Uh-uh. Ten four. All right, well, I'll tell you about it. When not on his telephone, it's funny. Ten four. Shit that went on in here. Um, did I, have I talked to you since I told you about the dude busting the sprinkler head? No. Oh, Buster. Is, is now a bad time for you? You want me to call you tonight? No, this is, I mean, I'm fine. This dude comes in. All right. Did I ever tell you yet about this guy, Courtney, that came in here? He, he got here, he was only here for like two and a half weeks. But, I mean, he was a... You know, he'd served three stints before, but it's all gun-related, you know, possession of guns and shooting. And He's really a laid-back guy. I know this sounds crazy. He's really a laid-back guy. He's just, you know, he seems to me, this is just my thought 
what little bit I got to know him. You know, he really had dreads down to his waist, but he seemed like a guy that doesn't go looking for trouble, but he doesn't back down from it. Does that make sense? It does. And he served a couple of stints, and he was in here. I mean, you know, he's a real hard criminal. I mean, he's done hard time, you know, but he's a really good guy. I mean, he and I really hit it off. He likes football. He likes to play chess. He's intelligent, and he's well-read. You know, I mean, he, and he had a bunch of stuff. I mean, he'd been in here for a while, so he had a bunch of stuff. He knew how to do things. He knew how to move, and you know what I mean? He knew how to manipulate the system. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, I really liked him, but he left last Wednesday, so they brought this dude into his cell. That I mean, he was freaking nuts. So the next thing you know, I mean, he's always banging on the door. Next thing you know, Buster, he's taking off all his clothes, everything, and he stuffed them in the toilet. And he's steady flushing the toilet so it'll run over. Right. So water's running out in the floor. Well, then we take a bunch of towels and shit and shove it up on his door where it's backing up in his room. And then we turn the, the water off. The, the officer opens the closet door where the water is, so we turn the water off. Well, next thing you know, that bastard pops the sprinkler head. I didn't even know you could do that, but apparently if you hit it hard enough, you can pop the sprinkler. So he's in his cell, butt naked. Buster, he's taking shit. He needs shit in his hands, and he rubs it all over the window. The doors have windows in them, you know? Right. He taking shit and rubbed it all in the window, all on the walls, and then he busts the sprinkler head off. Damn. I mean, what a nasty son of a bitch. So that was all day Friday. Water, I mean, two inches of water went everywhere. Then, right. these fools backed up the toilet this morning, but fortunately it didn't come down to where I was. Yeah. But, I mean, just crazy stuff. What time are you going back to Columbia? Um, I don't know. I'll probably stay here as long as Brooklyn does, and she's going to take a little nap, so I'll probably be here for an hour or so. Did you have a good time with the birthday party? Um, yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a good time. Where'd y'all go? Man, we went to some dude's house. Uh, his name was Will. He has, like, a barn, and it was, like, um, had, like, a party in his barn. You know, it was, it was Christmas themed, so you did, like, the White Elephant Christmas, and you know, they had, like, various games you played. What's the White like Elephant Christmas like where you take a gift? That's right. You, you know, you pick a gift from, like, a big uh, commutal pot, and then, you know, you can steal a gift or... So you know, even it was his birthday, stuff. y'all got presents. Um, well, it just kind of happened to be Brooklyn's dad's birthday today. Um, yesterday didn't really have anything to do with his birthday. It was just a Christmas party. Oh, well, but it was fun? Yeah, it was fun. Tracy's okay? Yeah, she's good. 10-4. All right, well, I'll try to check on you tonight, and um, I'll call you as soon as this thing's over tomorrow. It's at, like, 9.30. Okay, sounds good. So. Anyway, like I said, they seem optimistic. I, I refuse to let myself get hopes up, you know. So long, long. I'm sitting here watching football. Panthers Ten are tied with the, no, the Falcons are leading the Panthers. I guess so. So, all right. Tell Brookie I said hello. Y'all drive safe. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, man. Hey, Alec. <clears throat> what you doing? Oh, man, I'm sitting on my ass right now. <laughs> thinking, thinking about doing something this afternoon. Well, that's a good thing. Be- you're at your house? Yeah, I'm at the house. I went duck hunting this morning. I took a nap, and I've been screwing around, reading stuff on the computer and stuff like that. How was the duck hunting? It was good. It was did good. you hunt at your farm? I did. I, I did up in, um, up in Allendale. I've been having a bunch, a bunch of ducks, and there wasn't nearly as many this morning, but still, plenty to kill the limits. And we killed a gadwall, too, so that was good. You killed a gadwall? Yeah. 
Yeah. Send me people <laughs> on it. Just me and Rusty. Yeah. So what did y'all kill? The gadwall or what else? Yeah, we killed two limits of wood ducks and one gadwall. Cool. I mean, we really didn't know. That, I mean, we didn't know that's what it was. I told Rusty, I said, bro, I think that might have been a ballard. Or if it wasn't, it was a, a wild big duck. And uh make a long story short, we picked it up, it was a gadwall. But in any event. Was it How you been doing? Was it with, with, with a bunch of them? No, no, it looked like there was one other. Um, but that's basically it. Well, that's and I good. Yeah, no, it is good. It is good. So hopefully we'll build the ducks back up. Hey, we've been having food crews on there. At one time, there was, I don't even know, but... Have you been able to hunt One other time. You got a bunch of ringnecks up there or not? None yet. All Um, wood ducks? All wood ducks, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, you know, and these other ducks mixed in. There's some teal mixed in and some other stuff, so. But did you, did you release any mallards up there? A few, like 30, just to quack. Sure. I don't think, well, maybe 10 live, and I think alligators got them, but I don't think like 10 or so live. You got alligators where you flooded? Well, in the, um, Right next to it, across the dike. Some of them, some alligators come into the duck pond, you know. But I don't know. I mean, there's always a bunch of alligators up there. That's some bad trick. Yeah, I remember. I'm trying to think. Did you have water in it when we rode up there that day? You didn't, did you? Yeah. Well, we we saw a gator somewhere. And we saw gators in the big pond, but I didn't have the duck pond itself floated. Yeah, that's right. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. But anyway, um, how are you doing? I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How's Christy and the girls? They are all right. They are all right. Um, they are, Christy went to watch her mom in a singing the church Christmas play or something today. Caroline's at a friend's house. Are they out for the spring? Are they out for the break? Um, Caroline's home for the break. Mary Elizabeth, of course, we ain't seen her, but we probably won't see her for a while, I guess. But classes are over? I think, I know classes are over. I don't know about Mary Elizabeth's finals. I don't know if she's, I assume she's done with the finals, bro, but I don't know, man. I she just likes it up there, doesn't she? Yeah, she does, bro, you know. That's how I used she to be. Really I didn't remember. I didn't come home till right at Christmas time. Yeah, yeah. She, um, I mean, she would just soon stay right there and not do, you know, not come home. But you know, I mean, she wants to come and visit us, but she don't I, like I, just I, hanging around in Hampton. I understand. I understand. What suits her plan? Come home for about two days and go back for a few days, and come home for a little bit and go back. That's what I used to like to do. Yeah. Mix in going to Charleston and mix in going to stand at the river and that type of stuff. That's what, that would be perfect for her. Sure. Well, that's good. But anyway. You know what? It would really, and I'm not saying that's better than what Caroline does. It's just, you know, whatever makes her happy. Well, Caroline loves staying up there, but, but, you know, she, I don't know, she feels like she needs to come and stay with us some too, I think. Yeah. Of course, she just figured it out too, anyway. Yeah. Right. Hey, well, I got to ask you about a few things. All right. Um, on um, on the trust. So, so apparently Jim and Dick have been saying you want to use monies that are in the. Basically, you want to use monies that are protected to pay for our attorney's fees. And. Your choices, as I see it, are twofold. One, either use your retirement I'm not, or... I'm not saying that. I'd rather pay them with unprotected money, but I don't know how to do that. Well, I don't know how to do that either. So I guess so, not like I would do is been? there's no choice. And remember now, Randy, everything on this phone is recorded, and I promise you they listen to every one of my phone calls. Boy, no, I understand that. And I mean, and if you don't want to talk about this on the phone, I don't mind. Um, you know, well, I mean, we, we might have to, but 
you know, like I said, I, I don't get my hopes up. They seem optimistic about this hearing tomorrow, so let um, me see what happens then and then talk about it. Well, we really have to talk soon because i got to make some decisions on the um, – on Papa's trust, dispersing that. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. You'd have to get somebody to look into it, but I think if that money stays in that trust, it stays. It's protected in the trust. If it comes out, it's not protected. Um, but but Daddy's retirement's not enough to take care of everything for you. You know. So. So I, I mean. Well, and so the, 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 the problem, the spot I'm in, if I don't know what you want to do, it comes out, it gets, uh, it gets subject to becoming personal, a personal asset. We just don't do anything until we figure out what's going on tomorrow. Well, I mean, that's fine to wait for, wait for them, but Bo, in the next couple of weeks, I, I, I really need to know. Well, I mean, so, either, Either I'm going to be in here and we'll talk about it on the telephone, or I'll be out and we'll talk about it in person. Sure. Well, let's just plan on doing that one way or another. We'll that's all right with you. We can deal with it, you know, so is this, either is this, by phone or in person. So is this, yeah, that'd be fine. So is this hearing tomorrow, does it include, um, does it include um, those new charges? My understanding is that's why I got put off from Friday. Okay, I got you. Um, okay. Well, I mean, I didn't know. I just heard it after the fact that, that it was put off. But in any event. All right. Well, the other thing, you know, the other thing is, well, you know, I guess just wait until after tomorrow and see what happens. And, and give me some guidance. It's hard to know when I'm not hearing from you. I'm hearing it from somebody else. I don't know, if, you know, what you've asked people to do or not to do. Well, the first time I ever even heard about the trust was when they were out here, I guess Wednesday or Thursday, and they said they had talked to you about it. Well, but and they said that that may be an option. You know, here's the thing: is I have a concern as to, I, I, you know, fear the unknown's biggest fear. I want to make sure that number one, using retirement money is potentially problematic. I want to make sure it doesn't open something up. Number one, you follow me? I'm sure. And number two is, you know, whatever you pay, you pay 20% more. That's exactly right. So That's exactly right. I have been reluctant to do that, and, you know, they know that. And so, you know, we had talked at some point early on about the trust, and then it sounded like it wasn't going to be funded soon enough, whatever. So anyway, that it, was... Well, that's, that's a... That's part of the problem is with the with the receivers, you know. Um, I don't think it would be a problem funding the trust, but Papa's trust is a different story. But I tell you how this trust came into it. The receivers asked me at the beginning of last week, and they said that Jim and Dick were saying they wanted to that you wanted to use the trust to pay your attorney's fees as opposed to using retirement. Um, but in any event, we can definitely talk about it. We can definitely talk about it later. Well, let's just see what happens. But you understand my thinking is, so have they tried to undo, have they tried to claw back the payments to the bank? Uh, no, no. But, I mean, I assume that, the court will try to do that. The receivers don't actually make that decision, I don't think. I think the court does, to what I've been told. So, 
So, no, they haven't tried to do that. Let's just, let's just see what happens. And, you know, if we need to have long conversation on this phone, we will. If not, then we can do it in person. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. So, we'll just see what else is going on. But hey, well, what happened in hope. Kentucky, Randy? I turned on the TV and it said 70 people got killed. A um, really bad tornado. I hadn't watched the news, but that's what it is. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, really, really, really bad tornado. Must have been. And then it hurt a bunch of people in Illinois, too, and Arkansas. Three states, I heard. Well, literally, I haven't watched it, but I just heard everything secondhand. And I was told that some must describe it as the worst tornado ever, and I don't know what that means, whether that's, you know, body count or what. I don't really know. Wow. But, yeah, it's, um, anyway. Man, I tell you what, I got so many stories to tell y'all. Jim, Jim, I told John the story first or last week or end of the week before. Oh, that was crazy in and of itself, but, I mean, there's so much other stuff. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you just can't imagine. You just can't imagine. But no, you ought to be, you ought to be jotting it down. And you know... I don't know if you could drop that kind of stuff down and keep it private. I, um, yeah, but I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that's just kind of funny that didn't, didn't even really involve me. It's just... Yeah, but I know. I'm just saying this, I don't know, you know, if you could drop that down and, you know, you wouldn't want to jot it down and somebody knows you're writing about them. You know what I'm saying? Well. But. I know what you're saying. I know what she's saying. Yeah. All right, well, I'll, I'll um, I'll either call you, you know, Tuesday to, to talk about all this, or I'll see y'all at some point. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, if you don't mind, one way or another, let's get in touch. If you need to, just give me a call, you know, afterwards, and um, and we can talk about. You know, what's available, basically, and, and what I think are how things can happen in, uh, in even some amounts. So. That's a deal. Uh, I don't know. All right, man. Sounds good. I hope you're doing well. Tomorrow and the next day. So tell everybody hello, and, and I'll, I'll either call you or I'll see you. That sounds good. All right, thanks. Talk to you All soon. Right. Bye. All right, bye. Hey, Alex. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I got your letter. We're good. Yep. Good. It came in the mail Friday or yesterday. I'm not sure which day, but I, I got it yesterday. So. Well, good. Good. You hanging in there? Oh, yeah. I'm doing good. I mean, okay. you know, all things considered, I'm, where I'm at, I'm doing good. Well, in the grand scope of things, is as good as it can get right now, huh? Yeah, you know, I mean, hell, I got me a little NFL board going, you know, <laughs> make some poker chips out of some book covers. There you go. You know, everything's all right. Um, good way to, good the only way to bad thing is now. I screwed up my canteen last week, you know. Oh, yeah, that's right, because Liz said you either you hadn't ordered in time or you, you I can't remember what she said. There was a glitch with the order, but anyway, you know. Yeah. Going to get it in for this week, I guess, even though with the barn here and tomorrow morning, you never know what's going to happen. I uh, just I hope so. But, yeah. I mean, Jim and them seem to be very optimistic, but, you know, again, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll see it when it happens. Yeah, it's in, and then once he said it, depending on how high it is, it, it might not be something that's obtainable. I don't know. So, yeah, hopefully, no. hopefully it won't be too bad if they do. So, I do that. Well, John Marvin, uh, John Marvin told me John Marvin told me your little story. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of stories to tell y'all when well, I get I can, out of here. I mean, that's I can thing. imagine. You make make sure you're taking care of yourself too. 
all kind of crazy stuff goes on in here, but I'm doing good. I mean, I, you know, I mean, I'm, I ain't got no troubles. I'm fine. That's good. That's and, you know, I mean, I've helped a lot of people yeah. and, um, you know, I mean, yeah, I know. I know. it ain't That's no good being in here, but being in here, I'm doing fine. Yeah. I'm doing good. Yeah. Making the best of a, a situation, and that's what you got to do. Um, that's right. That's right. How's Cody? He's doing good. He is fed up with his job and going to find something new. Get his resume going and trying to figure out what he can can do to get back down here most of the time. I just don't see how he does it. I mean, that's just, I don't see it's, how, I mean, I'm going to call him you too. Yeah, well, it's, it's not so bad now that the kids are out of out of high school. You know, they're playing sports and doing stuff. It would have been almost impossible. But um, now it's, I mean, it's, you know, I'm here by myself, but that's not that big a deal, you know. But, um, but it would be better to have him back here. But um, this guy, they're kind of cracking down now, and, you know, they're going to do in a seven-day week. And he said, I ain't working on the weekend. I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, that's but right. I'm staying up there all weekend. Uh, there's always something going on, but and he only gets like one day off for Christmas. He gets that Friday before Christmas, and then he's back at work on Monday. So. Yeah, that's hard. I mean, even somebody's hard working as goatee, that's hard, you know. Yep, I know, I know. All right, well, tell everybody I said hello. I'll um, I'll give you okay. a call and let y'all know what goes on with yeah. all this. Well, I'm a I'm a log in in the morning. You know, I have to do that all the time, and so it's something I'm I've, you know I'm used to doing. So I'm a log in and kind of listen, and, and I'll be up to date on that. Ten four. So keep my fingers crossed. Hey, um, yep. Bill's got my clothes and stuff from Orlando. Yes, they are at Mama's house. Ten four. Yep, she and she and Matt picked up all three bags. The big what was she case, doing in Orlando? Matt's grandparents live in Dora Mira or Miradora or I don't know, some little town right above, about 40 minutes above Orlando. Man, I appreciate that. Yeah, well, that it worked out well because otherwise yeah, my somebody had my iPad. And anyway, I hadn't looked. Yeah, I hadn't looked through any of it. I assume everything is in there that you can pack up. Everything's well. Yeah. I washed everything before I packed it up. Well, good. That's so. Uh, it's all it's all in there, and it's all you know, just like you left it. So we just took it and put it right now. It's in that front bedroom at Mama's, but we'll probably move it upstairs, or I don't know what we'll do with it. But get it out of the way a little bit. But it's it at least is in Hampton. So perfect. All right, I'll be in touch. Love you. Thank right. you. You take care of yourself. I love you. All right. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Hey, Lizzie. I could have used your help this morning. Hey, I was thinking you about to pull your hair out, but your mom been gone all weekend. <laughs> huh? Well, I tried to um, get everybody to go to church with me, and Randolph wore jeans and a T-shirt because I got him all dressed in a cute little red plaid shirt and red pants, and he took all of it off in the car. <laughs> He had, I mean, he had his jeans and his T-shirt on underneath, so he still was dressed, but, I mean, oh, he was the little devil trying to get all that on him, and then he got in the car, and, I mean, like, maybe two minutes later, I walked out to the car, and he had stripped down to his jeans and his T-shirt. That's a trip, isn't he? Well, y'all doing good? When did John get back? He gets back tonight around 9.30, I think. Have they had a good time? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, one of the guys, it's a club limited trip, and one of the guys um, used to be the press secretary for um, President Nixon. Wow. And I've met him before, and he's, um, in fact, did you meet him by chance? What's his name? Um, well, now I'm drawing a blank on his name. Is it John Bond? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know, but um, I don't he's an older fella. Him. I, I would have found that very interesting and and talked to him about I, it. Yeah, I feel like it was maybe your dad that went on the wagon with us that day. 
Must be. And yeah, he's super interesting, and um, just um, he's got one of those voice, you know, like a voice that sounds um, just kind of legal, like you know, he was on TV, so. Sure. Um, but okay. I got your letter finally. You did. Yeah. Well, it good. Came yesterday. So thank you. Um, well, good. And then I haven't got hers, but. She's got it tucked in her phone, and um, she she said she would let me read it, but she hadn't she hadn't let me read it yet. But um, I just wrote her a quick letter, you know. Yeah. So she's well, so um, sweet. She's so mature. I know. I kind of think that she's like this old. I can't think like anything old. in there that she would not want to, that that I can't think why she wouldn't want you to read it. I think she was just being. Protective. Her friends were over here last night, and um, and I think she just she thinks it's cool that she got one, and you know she's just kind of holding that up over my head. Good for her. Good um, for her. Well, but you know they they, they they changed my hearing from Friday to tomorrow. Yes, I didn't know that. Um, tomorrow at nine thirty. I'm not sure. I think that's right. I think that's right. Like I said, well, um, I'll get my hopes up. I'm see what happens when it, when it happens. Well, um, do you, will you just stay there and it's just like your video conference when you meet with Jim? Or will you have to go to him? Normally, I don't video conference when I meet with Jim. Normally, they come and meet with me, but, um, you know, lawyers can meet with you and um. Oh, in person? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking all of that was going on. I know, which is why I do that the way I do it. Um, but anyway, like, and somehow, um, Reverend Culp got in. He, I think he just was so diligent and kept trying. They finally let him. Even though oh, good. Not, even, you know, normally... They give you a piece of paper on a Friday, and you have to mm. sign up for, like, the next Saturday or next Friday or next Saturday. But anyway, they let him do it. And just out of the blue, I got a thing saying, go in there and do it, and it was him. So. Oh, well, so was that, that a good experience? you talking about, I mean, you know, it's like talking on the phone, but there's a picture right there. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad to see him. I think he's I, I think he's a genuine good guy, you know. I mean, I think the world of him. Well, I, it didn't even occur to me that that's where he is, is in Columbia, and that would be... Did, yeah. you, did you get my letter that talked about my friend that's a minister yeah. in Columbia? Yeah, the one you wrote on Thanksgiving. Yeah, so if you want me to get the ball rolling on that, he really is a cool guy. I mean, we can see what happens tomorrow, but... I guess that's the, you know, that's the thing to do. I don't want to talk about it right now, but I still okay. have a hard time. Well, I know you do, and I... I feel like, um... Faith is going to be the only thing to get you through this. I mean, I know you don't want to talk about it, but... No, not right okay. now. Let's see, you know what? I'll talk to you on the phone about it if if um if I don't get out of here. I'll talk to you in person about it if I do get out of here. Okay. I just think that um it's important to have that um, as a well, basis. i tell you this. I've made up my mind... what I told you, but I changed my mind. I made myself change my mind, so. so we'll talk about it. Yeah, we will. I thought about it a lot, actually, this morning um, in church, and that just... 
I think that's going to be important moving forward. I mean, I... I mean, I went months where I couldn't reconcile it, and then when I went into treatment, you know, that's a big part of, um, that's a big part of most of the programs, you know, state. So, is uh, it specific, is, is that program, I, I wondered about that, but is it specific to Christianity, or nah, is it? No, nah, no, it's not, it's not, it, you know, it, well, yes, it is, but they don't. You know, they say you don't even have to be, you know, you do, you, it can work for you if you, you know, if you're agnostic, but, um, um. you know, I mean, I, I, I'll tell you all about it. I mean, I put a bunch of thought, you know, when I was in rehab and really struggled with that and a lot of thought. But I don't know. I think I'm. I think I made myself get back on the right path. So. Yeah. Well, I don't want to. We'll talk about it. I don't want to push my thoughts, but it just um. I feel like that's been the only thing that's kind of held me accountable and help held me grounded during all this. I'm sure. It's just the hope. Yeah, I just got yeah. so angry. Well, as, as you should. I mean, that's part, part of the healing process and the breathing process. But I uh, have absolutely... No doubt we'll see them again. I have no doubt about that. And that's why I wish you could read that book. Well, I mean, hopefully I will be able to read it, so we'll see. But I'll call you all tomorrow and let you know what's going on, okay? Okay, well, um, Lynn actually, I guess just through her work, she knows how to log in to it yeah. remotely. She um, told me, you know, I try to call her and Randy... Um, on the weekends and, mm -hmm. you know, once a week and she told me she was going to log into it, so. Yeah. Just so we get firsthand and not whatever the media says. Um, have you talked to Christy at all? No. That's a weirdness. What? She had reached out. I was just wondering if she had reached out to you at all. Nah. I, you know, I, I sent um, I sent a text or two back when I had a phone in rehab. Not didn't hear anything back, so I just quit. And that was before, really, when I hit my revelation. We'll this is what about. happened 20 years. Yeah. Hey, okay, this is something else I've been wondering. Mm -hmm. He said that you, had gone, you went blind. Say again? When you got shot, he said that you, had, you went blind. I don't know for how long. Oh, yeah. I mean, I couldn't see for, I don't know, I guess a minute, minute and a half maybe. Two minutes. A minute. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like you were near death and that you were seeing the light? No. No, it Are wasn't you... that bad. It just, I guess it was the impact. I mean, it, I wasn't seeing light. I was seeing dark. Uh, you know, I mean, the first thing, you know, I mean, the first thing I thought was... You have one minute remaining. And then I'm like, I know I'm not dead, because, you know, I mean, I just, I mean, I remember touching my head, and I remember, I mean, I remember thinking the back of my head's blown off, and I'm going to be blind. And then, you know, it slowly started coming back. I could stand up, because it knocked me down. Mm -hmm. And then I could stand up. I knew I was standing up. And, you know, then I, I, I think I kind of went to one knee, and... 
you know, I couldn't see, and I was trying to, but it didn't take, it didn't take long at all before it started improving, you know, I mean, like, it didn't get where I could totally see, but I could start seeing. Your time is up. Hey. I lost you. Well, I had to um, add, add time on my card, on my phone. I got you. So where did you lose me? Um, you were saying that, um, that you had uh, gone down to a knee, and, but everything was black. Yeah, so like, I, mean, I just I couldn't see. I mean, now for a second I thought to myself, you know, am I dead? It didn't take me long to realize I wasn't dead. Then the next thing that, that occurred is, oh my God, I'm really going to be messed up. I'm going to be blind. You know, and then it started quickly coming back, but I mean, I mean, I, I could reach back and feel my head, and I knew my head wasn't missing, you know, I mean, I could yeah. tell it was bleeding, but I could tell, like, it wasn't like a big section of my head blown off, and, you know, it never hit my brain, you know that, right? Um, so, here's well, what I'm actually, I guess I thought, I thought that it did hit your brain, because... No, listen here. All right, so you know how fast a bullet comes out of a gun, right? Yeah. All right, so it hits my head. It goes into my skin and puts a hole and kind of goes around my skull and comes out an inch and a half, two inches further away. So I had an entry and an exit wound. But it didn't go, it didn't penetrate my skull. It, it, it cracked it a little bit, and the force caused me to have a, a, two brain bleeds. But, you know, all a brain bleed is is a bruise on the brain. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't think it was anything permanent. I don't feel dumber or hindered or anything like that. But, no, this wasn't like, okay, things go dark, and... I see the light, and I'm going to the light. It went dark, and I couldn't see shit. And then it started lightening up, and I could see things around me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I mean, no, but... I think it was just the impact from the force of the bullet that knocked me down, and probably, I don't know, I guess sight is somewhere back there, and it... It interrupted it for a little while. Hmm. Uh, well, I'll tell, I'll tell you all the details when I see you. I know, because I feel like we really haven't been with you since then. You haven't? I, I mean, I saw you one time on the side of the road Yeah. when I was sick as hell. I'm sorry because I was yelling at you. No, you were? No. Huh? You were yelling at me? Yes. What? What were you yelling at me? Well, I just wanted answers. I didn't understand what was going on. Because, you know, Christy was the one that told me everything, and I didn't believe her. I got you. Um, and I think I just was... I don't. I mean, I remember. I remember you and I, I. I remember you and Buster. I remember we were on the side of the road somewhere, but that's all I remember. Yeah, we were. Um, I think. I think we were in Pooler, maybe. See, I don't have um, any clue. Like when you're in detox, you don't remember anything. I mean, you remember stuff, but you don't remember like details. Yeah. And I mean, I was well into the throes of withdrawals at that point. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew that you didn't, didn't, you know, I mean, you, I guess you just called, called it feeling similar to the flu. I don't remember you yelling at me. I mean, I didn't yell, but I mean, I was just like, I understand. I just was so confused and sure. it, it just kind of came as, you know, it was such a shock. I know, a lot of emotion. And, I get it. And, um, you know, I just, I didn't know how much Maggie knew and 
slash she never told me. Not that it's really in my business, but I mean, we just kind of talked all the time. Right. Um, but. But we'll talk about it. Well. I'll I'll be in touch tomorrow and let y'all know what's going on. Yeah, keep us posted and um, if there's something I can do, Maybe. that much you just yeah. got. Oh God, you know how much I appreciate you, and I will talk to you soon. <laughs> okay, I love you. Either way, I love you. Tell everybody hello, give them all hugs, and tell them I hope um, I see them soon, but if not, I'll see them when I can. All right, well, y'all take care. Tell everybody hello. Love y'all. Talk to you soon. Okay, love you too. Bye. Bye-bye. You flooded the goddamn thing. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey, man. Can, hey, what's can going on? Me? Nothing. How you doing? Yeah. How was the trip? I just got off the airplane. Are you still in the airport? Nope, I'm on the road now, driving home. You got two seconds? Yeah, I got plenty of time. Hey, hey well, just in case, I mean, Jim seems really optimistic about tomorrow. Um... If, I mean, how do you pay for a bond? What do they say? So uh, I've learned a little bit of stuff, Alex. So he says that if, if you use a bondsman, they charge 10%. You don't get that money back. Okay. Okay, so if it's a $200,000 bond, it's $20,000, and, and the bondsman keeps that money. All right. He also said there were different ways to secure it with um, property, for example, like with the, with the court or with the state. And I don't I didn't, didn't fully understand that. And then he also said that a lot of times the state will accept a cash bond and just return to you. Cancel. All right. Well, I mean, we'll see what goes tomorrow and figure it out. But you just got out of, I mean, what do you need me to do? What can I do? What, I mean, what you want me to do? I don't know. I, I, I don't know really anything about it. I'll talk to Jim and them if something happens, you know. Okay. And we'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, you'll be able to call me, won't you? Um, you know, I should be, but you never know. You know, I mean, I guess I would think, I would think if anything good happens, I would be able to call you if, you know. If it's, if it's a, a cash bond, for example, and if for some reason he's used multiple times that $200,000 number. That means that's, that's what the Attorney General is asking for. Right. So do you want to, do uh, you want me to pay that? I mean, what do you, I, I, just need, I just need you to give me some guidance. Well, is there a way to get out if you don't pay that? Well, unless he's got that, that means to, you know, to, to where it's secured with either land or with the state, with the courts or with the state. They basically do the same thing. If, if, if we put that up, you show up in court. But if, if we put that up, you get that back when you go to court, right? I think that's my understanding is what I thought Jim said. That comes back when you go to court. But the well, bondsman does not. That's, their, that's basically their interest. But he also said that, you the know, you don't make that happens. much money. He said 10% is what you got to pay him. There's no way. Now, he said it, he said it, he said that's typical. Now, but he also said that, you know, he can negotiate with them. Well, we'll see. Let's just see what the deal is, and then we'll figure it out. We'll go from there. You just got to call me and let me know what to do. I don't, want, I don't want Jim to make that decision. You, I want you to let me know. Make sure I'm doing the right thing. Well, I may have to have him call you, but if I do, I will make sure to tell him that I said for you to call, for me to call. Okay. okay. Well, you just, you just give me some guidance, and I'll do whatever I can. I can't wait to hear about your trip. Well, it wasn't much. We killed a few birds, but it wasn't much to it. It wasn't? Yeah. It, it, I mean, it was, it was good. Were you it, it, it wasn't great. Yeah. Yeah. It was good, honey. No, I shouldn't say that. But it was good. I'll talk to you about it another time. 
All right. Well, you drive safe. Love you. All right. Love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. Hey, bud. Hello. You uh, home? Um, I'm in Columbia. Yeah, that's what I mean. You made it to your apartment? Yeah. Hey, did you ever hear anything from Butch? Um, I spoke to him last week and he said he hadn't, he hadn't what? heard from Hubbard. And he said he, no, well, I'm supposed to hear from him this week. Okay. All right. Ten for hey, did Brooklyn go get home yet? Yeah, but she never told me if she got the letter, which makes me think that she might not have. I don't, I don't know. Huh. But, I mean, she said she was going by her mailbox, and I feel like if she got it, she would have said something about it. Maybe she just didn't say anything about it. You talked to her after she got home? Yeah, I did. And she just didn't mention the letter, and I forgot to ask her about it, too. So. I hope she got it. All right. Well, you in the bed? Uh, yeah, I'm just watching TV. All right. Well, I'll let you know what happens tomorrow, okay? Well, I mean, I'll, I'll know what happens. All right, well, I'll, I'll give you the buzz. I love you. Um, so, I mean, do they do they rule with everything tomorrow, or do they just hear it, and then the ruling will come later? I don't know. You know, this is a pretty simple matter. They usually rule on these things right away, but who knows what they'll do with this. I mean, I'm not even optimistic they'll even give a bond. And if they give a bond, I suspect it might be so high, you can't pay it, you know? Yeah. So, we'll, I mean, I'm popular to rule against right now, you know? Right. But Jim and Dick want me to talk, you know, they want me to talk to her tomorrow, so I've got all that ready. Been for. Been working on that all weekend, so, anyway, um, I'll talk to you at some point tomorrow. I love you, buddy. All right, love you too. I'm so proud of you. Bye. Oh, hey man. Okay. Hey. Yeah. I thought I might have got that answering machine. What you mean? Sometimes, like when it, usually when y'all answer, it rings once or twice. Then it says your party is answered. Um, you know, waiting on, and then it goes beep, and I hear a, a loud beep, and I can hear you. When it rings a long time. And then it plays this little tune. It usually comes on and says we've reached an answer machine. Anyway, what's up? Nothing. About to get in the bed. Where are you? Joss. Jump on and get my bond posted yet? Yeah. Somebody think, think, he's, think he's writing a check tomorrow. That's a fucking joke, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. I just don't know how they. I don't know. I don't know what goes under that. Huh. Bernie Madoff had a $10 million bond. He took $10 billion. That dude from Sun Gold that sold $380 million. I know. 2,400 investors, $100,000. I know. Uh, yeah. That lawyer that stole money from clients where he told them if he didn't, they didn't turn over their retirement system, their retirement monies to him, they were going to lose it and took it. $100,000 bond. Six and a half million dollars. Anyway, it is what it is. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Did Brooklyn get my letter? She did get your letter. I can confirm that. She got it on Monday. Oh, I'm glad. All right, well, good. And I think she's writing one back to you. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Um, did they put what, you know, Dick and Jim asked me to speak at that bond here, and did they have that all over TV and shit and news? No, there weren't, there weren't any there weren't any reporters allowed in the, in the hearing. Yeah, there were reporters in the hearing. They just weren't allowed to record. Uh, well, no, there, there wasn't a whole lot. There wasn't a whole lot out there about that. What was it? What was it out there about how much the bond was? Uh, yeah, I just, you know, man, just look at everything. 10 4. You talked again, Juan Papa T? Um, yeah, I spoke to him a couple of days ago. Are they okay? 
Yeah, I think they're fine. You know, I just think that, you know, I mean, they, they really got nothing to go do to escape from any of this, so I just think they kind of drive themselves crazy thinking about it. I'm sure. It worries me. But, I mean, I think, I think this little triple, you know, would be good for them. That'd be good. I hope so. I think about them all the time. I worry about them all the time. Them being old and not being able to go out now, and I'm sure they sort of please let them know. I think about them and it worries me. Yeah, I know, but I mean, you know, like I, I mean, I got a job and I got stuff I can do, but I mean, they just ain't got nothing to go do. I know, and that's what worries me. I mean, it's liable to. It just it really worries me. Have you heard from um, Butch? Um, no, I sent Butch a text message today, and I haven't heard from him. But tomorrow, I'll probably start, you know, kind of, right. you know, kind of bothering him more. I try not to right. bother him too much. Well, get you a good night's sleep. I love you. I just wanted to say, hey. Okay. Everything else okay? Um. Yeah. I mean, everything's good. We um went fishing today, and where'd you go uh, fishing? Off the dock at you, Jesse. Do any good? Yeah, I mean, you catch fish over there all day long. Are you talking about little shit fish or trout and bass? No, caught, shit, caught like 10, 10, 11 trout in like 40 minutes to death. Keepers? Probably not, I mean, probably, yeah, yeah. Did you, you know, keep them? Um, we threw a couple back, but we kept, we caught, no we caught some, yeah, well, we caught some yesterday, but we didn't catch really enough to have dinner. And then we went and caught some today. And once we once we knew that we had enough, we started kind of throwing them back. But I mean, I, I had it. Um, we tried them. Well, that sounds good. All it right, was well, good. Get you a good night's sleep. What time is it? Mm, it's like ten. No, it's not ten. It's nine. It's nine eighteen. All right, you in the bed? Um, no, I'm about to get in the bed. You in the room? I'm in my room. Ten for All right. Well, I love you. Tell Brooklyn I said hey. Okay. All right, bye. All right, love you too. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one.